Oh my god, y'all, look at her. She's got the sauce. She's so saucy. Oh my goodness, look at her. Look at her. Dang. <laughs> if you guys can really, like, you know, for real, make some puns off of this character from Arby's, throw them in the comment section because I need a good laugh. <laughs> Hello all of you wonderful people, I'm Daxani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's drawing is a little different, but I'm really, really, really excited to share this one because I had so much fun drawing this Draw This In Your Style event hosted by Arby's called Hashtag Arby's Waifu, and she is such a cutie. Quick disclaimer though, this is not sponsored, so just gonna put that out there. Okay. So, for those of you who do not have an Arby's in your area and have no clue what it is, um, it's basically a fast food restaurant and they sell sandwiches that are like, I guess, pastrami looking type meats and they have this slogan spoken by a guy with a deep voice that says, we have the meats. And <laughs> fun fact, the voice actor for Arby's, uh, well, I guess spokesperson, I think is the actual term, is Ving Rhames. He plays in all of the Mission Impossible films and he was in Pulp Fiction, Dawn of the Dead, uh, Baby Boy, you know, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just felt like throwing that fun fact in there. So I, I thought that was really cool to know. Me and my dad looked it up uh, not that long ago. So that was cool. <laughs> Anyways, I saw this on Arby's Instagram and started sketching the Arby's waifu in my style and I felt really good, except for the hand. But I think all of you know by now how much I be talking trash about these hands. <laughs> hands weren't my only concern. I was just trying to figure out how to go about this color palette. Don't get me wrong, I really love the colors in this drawing, but I'm so used to doing skin tones that aren't yellow like this is um and the hair the hair is actually arby sauce matter of fact this this character is basically an arby sauce packet so there's that i'm i'm just so used to doing hair with details and knowing that this was an actual hair kind of made me contemplate whether or not to even draw this but i said no 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 we are going to go ahead and draw this because it's out of my comfort zone. Um, and honestly, the hair was the most easiest and the most fun part of this drawing entirely. And for some reason, I think I just have this tendency of making things complicated for myself. Well, overly complicated for myself when it really isn't. Uh, I don't know why, but I just, I just realized that now. Hmm. I mean, I could have went ahead and drew her with regular hair and just colored hair like I normally do, um, use the same color and all of that, but at the same time, I feel like if I did draw her with regular hair, it would kind of take away um, Arby's waifu character, which, you know, she is a, and she is an Arby sauce pack it you know so her so her her sauce her hair is sauce you know so that's why i stuck with the sauce and i didn't do regular hair outlining was a bit of a drag it always is but you know i'm glad i didn't outline the hair um i almost did well i tried it out but then i was like nah i'm not really feeling it i think it'll be just fine without it and i think it looks great as is so um, but goddamn, that hand is a hot mess and her fingers are so pointy, it looks dangerous. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Uh, help me. <laughs> okay, moving on. The hat, uh, which is the Arby's logo, it's on top of the original character, just kind of floating there. And um, I was trying to do that. But, you know, with the little heart word bubble thing, I just felt like it was just too cluttered. Um, so I, I even tried moving the, the little word bubble with the meat in it on the other side, but I still felt like it was cluttered and I was like, nah, I really like it on the right side. So I decided on making the Arby's hat logo into a tattoo because 
Tattoos are cool and people have them. So yeah, the hat logo is a tattoo and I love that decision. You cannot change my mind. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to try to make it more of a habit to clean up my art more. I'm starting to see some messy lines and messy coloring and such in the drawing. But the thing is, while I'm drawing, I don't notice these things until it's completed or until I post it on social media. And I low-key get really fed up and don't want to go back to clean them up because it's like no I spent you know a few hours on this drawing and I don't feel like going back to it and cleaning it up but you know if I plan on selling merch or something I'm going to have to do that you know um I'm gonna have to really pay attention and notice these things and uh, I really hate it like I'm just thinking about it right now and uh, but you know it needs to be done it needs to be done I need to stop being a lazy butt and just just do it you know so yes it's it's a flaw of mine a lazy one at that but I think we all get like that once in a while <laughs> right am, am, am I the only one yes no? Uh, Alrighty then. Well, let me know what you guys think of my style of the Arby's waifu. Arby senpai, I hope you noticed me and, um, you know, the artwork that I participated in. Just saying, um, if you're listening, Arby's people. Um, anyways, yeah, I love your sandwiches, especially that French dip sandwich. Oh my gosh, that is to die for. And I'm craving a Arby's French dip sandwich right now. Maybe I'll get one before I go to work. Yeah. If you guys join in, make sure to check out the Arby's Instagram. Honestly, they're pretty dope when it comes to posting. Um, I'll leave their info in the description box below. But have a wonderful day. Have a fantabulous day. And thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. And I shall chat with you soon. Bye.